This video demonstrates shaping and finishing pain au chocolat, which are made from the basic croissant recipe on my website. I fully demonstrated this technique for preparing croissant dough on my video all about croissants. You can access that video and the cutting diagram shown here on the website. I've prepared the chocolate logs ahead of time by cutting up my favorite uh, chocolate which is dark chocolate and also hazelnut chocolate shown on the right. You can choose whichever is your favorite. I'll demonstrate the process by shaping six pain au chocolat. First place a log at the end of the dough, roll it over onto itself, put another log down and finish rolling to the end. Press your seam lightly place it seam side down. And you can repeat that process for the remaining pain au chocolat. Put one log down, roll, another log, finish rolling. Secure the seam and place it seam side down. Now while I'm doing the other shaping here, uh, I'll just chat with you about the next step that's going to come. Once these are finished being shaped, you'll place them on a baking sheet and you'll set them aside to proof or rise. And what I like to do is, if, if you have a separate um, baking sheet that you're not using, invert that over the top and that will just keep the air off these pain au chocolat while they're rising and keep the, the skin from forming on the surface. That proofing uh, can take anywhere from an hour to two hours. What you're going to do is just wait long enough till they about double in size. Here's the last one. Again, press the seam, seam side down. So after they've been proofed, I'm just demonstrating the baking off of three of them here a light egg wash to the surface. That gives them a nice golden color and a, and a sheen when they come out of the oven. A 375 degree oven for about 20 or 25 minutes and then you get this lovely golden color. What I'm doing here now is I'm finishing them and that is I'm going to drizzle chocolate over the top. I've melted some chocolate in a cup and dipping a, a spoon into uh, some water, shaking it off so you don't have a lot of water on there. I'm just gradually incorporating a tiny, tiny little bit of water into the chocolate mixture and that's going to seize it ever so slightly or stop it up a little bit so it's not quite so runny. And that's what's called now piping chocolate. And I've created a parchment uh, cone there, a little piping bag out of parchment paper and I'm scooping the piping chocolate into the parchment cone. You're going to seal that off from above and then with a pair of scissors just snip off the very tip of the cone. You only want a very small hole. If you have a large hole it will come out way too fast and too heavy. You'll get a really thick line. If that's what you want, that's fine. It's not my preference. So I, I have a just a small snip of the, of the uh, parchment. And then start drizzling. If it gets stuck, which it has done here, just push it out the end, get rid of the clog, and continue drizzling. As much or as little as you like. It's, it's not a very scientific process. Just do whatever you find aesthetically pleasing for you. Do this process, this drizzling process, when the pain au chocolat are cool or the chocolate will melt. And there's your finished product, a work of art. Enjoy! Thanks for watching.